Don't let me drown What's going on you lot? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia and I make mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. Now, as you can probably see, I have got glitter literally everywhere. I'm in the process of making a phone case for Louise. And if you don't know who Louise is, she's another YouTuber here on YouTube obviously on YouTube. I'll leave her information in the description down below. I think what she does is amazing. Living in a daydream. Today I'm talking to you about depersonalization and derealization. These are two dissociative disorders that I'm diagnosed with. Because of these disorders, I pretty much feel like everything is a daydream. I feel like my entire world is a dream. It doesn't feel real. And two of the biggest issues I have because it can flare up at any time of memory loss and time loss. When I say I lose time, believe me, I do not know where my, half my days go. And I know a lot of people say that, but when I say it, I'm like literally have no idea what I've been doing. So often or not, you'll probably see me with a good old, a good old pen and a notebook writing absolutely everything down because I forget everything. My memory is appalling. But when it comes to time loss, what does that mean? You know, it's a weird concept. Basically, if I'm in a, in a very in a dissociative, yes I am diagnosed with it and it, it goes on all the time but when it has a flare up moment I know what I'm doing but I can't remember what I'm doing so I could be take YouTube for example I could be sat here talking to you and then I will just zone out and I'll be like what is this thing in front of me what am I doing sat here what am I doing you know it, it plays with your mind so much every day things seem impossible I am lucky that I haven't really had a flare up in quite a while and I've managed to get my dissociative moments under control and I found coping skills my best way of coping honestly is pen and paper pen and paper are my best friends how does it feel it's probably what you're wondering you know when you sit there and have a daydream you're just zoned out not focused on things and you're thinking you just don't know that you're doing it until afterwards that's what everything feels like and believe it or not it's these are actually some very common dissociative disorders dissociative di disorders aren't all the same there's dissociative identity disorder which is was formerly known as multiple personality disorder there is depersonalization derealization so many of us there is dissociative amnesia there's a lot of types of dissociation dissociation is also a symptom of anxiety panic attack and ptsd dissociation can occur without any dissociative disorder being present. I just wanted to put that out there. Dissociation and dissociative disorders aren't the same. Dissociative disorders are pretty intense and constant feelings of dissociation. Dissociation can occur in a panic attack because you're in a moment of panic. You leave that moment. You're not present and you can't remember what you was going because you dissociate it. That is what dissociation is in a basic terminology, basic terminology way thing thing. My brain is kind of on a the moment so I'm sorry if my words aren't making sense. If I'm having a flare up I will say I'll wake up I'll get ready I'll go to uni I'll do what I need to do and then I'll be somewhere out and about and I'll be like how did I get here because I can't remember actually doing anything or it can happen when I look in the mirror and it's like my face but it's not my face you don't recognize everyday things and this is really hard to go through when you're very prone to psychosis and this is part of the reason why I take an antipsychotic I'm not on a very high dose with the antipsychotic because it lowers my blood pressure too much long story very short when my dissociation was bad I would see these shadows move it shadows are the most common hallucination that I have when I say that I mean like shadows moving off walls but my issue was is everyday things that have shadows were transforming into these things and I didn't recognize them and I was terrified of them and I did a video back when this was going on and I talked about it and it was really weird to try and explain because how do you even comprehend it you know it's not something everyone goes through it's not something everyone can understand it has been a minute since I made a video talking about these disorders because I've become more focused on my BPD, my eating disorder, and my PTSD. Anxiety can just exist in its corner. You know, I want to raise awareness for things. I want to talk about things that people don't talk about. You know, making videos is very hard when you can't actually remember what you experienced. So when I had my last episode, Association, which was around a week ago, I actually wrote down absolutely every single thing that I did that day because I already knew I was really out of it like when you're out of it you can kind of tell but you kind of can't tell it's a learning curve you have to learn to know when it's occurring and if it does I write down absolutely every little detail of everything that I'm doing writing things down is also a really good grounding skill so like if you're feeling like zoned out or you feel 
feeling anxious writing what's everything down is actually a really good grounding technique and coping skill i felt like making this video as a bit of a step back into the subject sort of thing because it has been a minute since i spoke about these and you know i want to start talking about it more and more i'm gonna bring this video to an end but if you didn't know i run an etsy store where i sell self-care packages scrapbooking packages all sorts on there and that just you know that there to support you and support me. I also launched a monthly self-care package which I know it's a thing and it's amazing. So with that I am going to end this video here. If you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know I have a TikTok too and I post some really weird creepy shit on there so right away promote myself. Little ding. If you are new make sure you turn notifications on because I do do live streams as well and we have guests sometimes quite a lot now and with that I'm going to end the video here. Bye guys.